Hello everyone, today I would like to show you the Dungeon Hunter 4 game which despite many books, many bugs, is a pretty good game. I played it a little while so today is the day when I will show you how this game looks. As you can see the first bug is that the game can be sometimes laggy, what you could see a few moments ago. Oh, damn. I'm not paying attention to the game. Damn. Not good, not good. And now it's better. Ah, As you could see it's not so easy, right here I have some mission which aren't so easy when you are starting them the first time. So if you're not making it in this mission you can go to the outside world and there level up and gain some experience. Just like right now. This is the mine ward. It's not big actually and monsters are showing just like this in this kind of scripted events shit oh, hell Okay, I think the good way will be avoiding trouble right now when I have a low health, like right now. Actually the game is kind of linear, I mean you have, you know what to do, you have only one mission at the time, you can of course do some side, side missions.
as you can see I don't like the, that this game is laggy like in this moment and sometimes it can be and this is the minor city So, that's what this game is about. You are completing uh, missions, which you can see on the mind map. There is a world map. I traveled from here, and there is my quest. I also had some quests right here, but I finished them. And there is a world map. And you can see that there is my quest. I finished those quests. So, that's what it, this game is about. This is uh, actually a uh, classical hack and slash not complicated just uh, skills and there aren't many skills and to get the point of all this interface it takes about 30 minutes and you know what to do then you are just playing this game graphic is pretty nice but sometimes it can be laggy as you could see and sometimes it crash what you could see in my other movies overall I would I would rate this game like 4 stars and I hope the creators will fix those bugs and update the game and we could play this game fluently without any crashes. Also when playing this game don't forget to daily open the Well of Fate, choose the Bronze Lottery and daily it is free. It is spinning as you can see and if it is not on the blind spot it will unlock next future and okay like this this is the end I can choose price or just spin again but it costs about 20 diamonds so you know <laughs> I'm not buying it so I can choose one of those prizes I will take 2% critical chance this is the inventory right here you have all items right here you have the charms you can put those charms on the uh, on your armor on or on your weapon like this you, you can see that triangle right here and it says it is empty so if I would have this item I could put uh, this charm right here but this is but this item is from store so I have to buy it this is my item and it doesn't have any place for charm Those are all my items. So that's everything. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoy. And if you like this movie, click like. If you would like to see more movies, click subscribe. And see you in next movies. Bye bye.